got the GoPro Hero 11 strapped into the Fuji X Pro 3. Here, iPhone. Fuji X Pro 3 with a custom paint job. Shoot it today with the XF 35mm F2. I'm hand holding the hot shoe mount that is gonna go in the X-Pro3, I just thought I'd say hello first. These are from the Ice Age floods. All got pulled off of cliffs yonder, up north. And they got them all stacked up here. They get piled up a lot here in the Tri-Cities. And they make a great building material. We're gonna do some close-up stuff and some distance stuff with the 35 millimeter F2 because, well, this little bugger, it's on the chopping block for me. Got the Fuji 1680 F4. That covers the focal range. I've also got the 23 millimeter F2. Oh, here, let's get a photo of the GoPro. Show you how nice it looks. Focus that close. Anyway. That's what uh, we're going to put in the hot shoe right now. And I'll keep conversing. I'm hoping the audio is working. We're going to go out today and see if we're going to keep this lens because I just don't know. And I, I haven't picked this lens up in probably a year. We'll test it out. Uh, what it's really got to do, it's got to work well at F2. So let's see what kind of bokeh we can get out of this thing. We'll see how it, how it does today. Maybe I'm missing out. That's the thing. But if it's just taking up a place, then I don't need it. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. We still recording GoPro? Yeah, good boy. So I've got some uh, partially cloudy skies. We got decent light today. Um, in fact, it has the possibility of being really bright. So here we go at F2. Let's grab a corner. There's a good corner. And stretch it out a little bit. Yeah, it'll blur it out. We got our shutter going crazy at a two thousandth of a second. A little depth of field test. We'll try and go right in the middle. See what stays in focus and what does not. There we go, right there. Boy, it looks nice so far. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna jack her on up to f10 uh, probably. Aperture wheel is nice. It's got an easy turn with a single finger. Uh, we're not sure where we're going today, but we're gonna find some stuff. That means you too. We're on the lookout for cars. We've got our exposure set right where we want it. I dare a cool car to come back. 35 millimeters on the APS-C, sir, which is what the X-Pro3 has, is that it's a 50 millimeter. It's a 50 millimeter full frame equivalent. 50 millimeters is how the eye sees. That's the, that is the, oops, here we go. 50 mils is how the eye perceives things. Look at that trail. Jolene has made an art of pee walking. We don't insist on pee walking, she does. Just so we make that clear. Yeah, we're just gonna run across, across town, I think. Not sure, we'll try and take a different way. There aren't too many ways, but we may find one. But either way, let's do some photography. Listen to some music and get on our way. Thanks for coming. Drop kick me Jesus through the goalposts of life End over in neither left nor the right Straight through the heart of them righteous uprights Drop kick me Jesus through the goalposts of life Make me, oh, make me, Lord, more than I am Make me a piece in your master game plan Free from the earthly tempestion below I've got the will, Lord, if you got the toe And drop kick me, Jesus, through the goalpost of life End over in neither left nor the right Straight through the heart of them righteous 
us upright Drop kick me Jesus through the goalpost light Look. Take all the brothers who've gone on before And all of the sisters who've knocked on your door All the departed dear loved ones of mine Stick them up front in the offensive line Drop kick me Jesus through the goalpost of life End over end neither left nor to right Straight through the heart and rights us up right Drop kick me Jesus through the goalpost of life Yeah, drop kick me Jesus through the goalpost of life End over end neither left nor to right Real test for any lens Howard Aiden Park. Uh, working the aperture. Hope, uh, hope you're having fun. I focused on the back half because what can happen when you focus too closely is all that texture will become really sharp on you. So when you learn this from doing real estate photography back in the day if I stick my focus about midway I'm going to miss most of those really sharp uh, textures so it's a nice way to do it hey where are you going you know it's a it's a very nice lens it sits in the 400 range I think for a nice sharp little prime lens it definitely works well it's a pretty good deal, but the question remains, is it a deal for me? Why haven't I used it? I've used the 23 millimeter F2. You know, I use that fairly regular. I use the Holga lens more than I use this thing. Come on, get out of there. Come on, come on. Look.
hey thanks for coming have a terrific day appreciate you appreciate the encouragement appreciate the comments thumbs up love it thank you